So the inflationary theory is the answer to the question, what caused the Big Bang? What made the Big Bang bang? And the postulate is that there's a so-called quantum field that filled the whole universe, that mm -hmm. fluctuated out of nothing, and the universe became came into existence. As quantum quanta do, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they do stuff out of nothing and all the, the time. They are the magicians of the universe. <laughs> yes. So we claim that we discovered this. So that's why everyone said this is going to win a Nobel Prize because right. they won a Nobel Prize for discovering just the heat left over from the Big Bang. Right. All the more so for discovering what ignited the spark that ignited the Big Bang. Wow. So we ended up building this telescope, and then. When I got this call from Jim Simons, I was in this pickle, right? What ended up happening was we had relied on data, not from our own instrument. Actually, someone had taken a picture of a PowerPoint slide from our arch nemesis, the Planck experiment. So Jim calls me up, what's going on and what to do next? So we ended up discovering that we didn't see this pattern that would be the imprimatur of the Big Bang. We didn't see this cosmic swirling curls from the Big Who Bang. Who determined you didn't see it? We, along with our competitor, the Planck teams, that we worked together to find out that actually what we saw was nothing more than some cosmic schmutz. Right. Some dust. dust. It was yeah. cosmic dust. The people dust. who study dust, so Absolutely. don't call it schmutz. That's right. Right. Th to them, it's, it's their a, livelihood. One astronomer's dust is another astronomer's you know, Nobel, lost Nobel Prize.